will surely mispronounce this. Uh, it's a varicocele, varicocele, I don't know how you uh, pronounce it. Varicocele. Uh, can it lower testosterone levels? Does test levels increase after varicocelectomy? I uh, can if it's a significant enough varicocele that's causing a lot of stasis. And usually it's bilateral, you know, one side. I mean, they do, we do repair, you know, unilateral ones just for uh, fertility concerns to give a guy the best, if they're having trouble, you know, with fertility. A lot of urologists will repair a single side of varicocele to help with that. Um, but if it's a subclinical one, I doubt it. Um, you're not going to, nobody, I wouldn't repair a subclinical varicocele, one that's just found on an ultrasound, you know, that you can't even palpate. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, levels can absolutely improve if you have pretty significant bilateral varicoceles. Um, sperm count's not always going to improve. It can. Uh, fertility rate doesn't always improve. So that's the thing. You will see some improved semen parameters, but it doesn't always lead to improved fertility in everyone. Do you find, do you find that the fertility uh, lack of improvement there is due to the fact that some of the intra-testicular cells responsible for spermatogenesis are essentially killed off by the lack of blood flow over time? And they I don't, don't know change? because, you know, you do see an improvement in the parameters. So you would think, okay, your sperm count's gone up plus the morphology and everything. You don't, you don't see the, you know, you do see a lot of, because when you have a varicocele, you see what's called like these stress effects on the sperm, right, from the varicocele, and that gets better. So it does make me think that the Sertoli cells and, and everything else are functioning better. But I think it's just because there's more to fertility chances than just improving those parameters. It could be on, something on the female side. It could be, there could be you a do, million. You do see sperm count increase. Could it be motility yeah. that's not? Uh... That's what I say. You usually see all those parameters improve. But is it enough to get back to an ideal state? Not always. So, yeah. And again, I don't even, I don't even do varicoceles here because it's a, Nowadays, the gold standard is a microscopic subinguinal varicocelectomy, which takes a microscope and somebody who does a lot of microscopic surgery. So I just send them out to a fertility trained urologist to deal with that. I have a buddy in Shreveport that does it. Uh, a lot of guys in Dallas. So I just, we don't even have a lab here in Paris, Texas that does a semen analysis. So uh, fertility stuff, I can get the ball rolling, but I usually, I just don't mess with it that much. So. Yeah.